And, and the actual response to your question here is, yeah, surveillance today uh, at the state uh, is an invisible issue that is never felt until it yanks you off the earth and into the center of the sun, right? Uh, you are watched uh, for a long period of time, uh, but no action is taken uh, until it's really turned, uh, until they either uh, push you to jail or get off you uh, or discredit you. Individuals have a right to this. Uh, we say everyone has a right to this. This is collective security, and it provides a kind of preferred immunity. Uh, the social value of this is derived from the fact that everybody has it. Uh, because if you know, ordinary people, for example, have all of their communications uh, traveling electronically naked, uh, and then only activists, uh, people in vulnerable situations, people who are at risk, are using encryption, encryption becomes a flag for intelligence services, for state security bureaus, for the local police, who start saying, hey, look at this person more closely, start monitoring them more intensely, because they are actually protecting their patients. Uh, now, a lot of this we've already gotten past, but the central argument that law enforcement is starting to say is that, look, if you encrypt all of your communications, uh, our capabilities will go dark. We won't be able to monitor supplies. We won't be able to uh, investigate crimes. We won't be able to stop corruption. We won't be able to do anything. Uh, the atmosphere is going to ignite. The oceans are going to blow off. The skies are going to be purple. Uh, and it's the end of our lives. But what's fascinating is if you look at their classified documents, they say the thing. They said that today is the golden age of surveillance. And even though encryption does part of your thing, it doesn't stop because they can just hack your device directly from the moment of the encryption. Uh, encryption largely prevents mass surveillance. There is no meaningful governmental argument that says encryption should be banned, it's access should be limited, anything like that. And any official uh, saying to the contrary that encryption is a public danger either does not understand what they're talking about 